welcome to this week's Thursday video for Opposites Interact. I'm Selena and today I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be creating three looks. And the look I am wearing is actually the last look in the tutorial. So if you'd like to see that, keep watching! So for this look, we are using the Modern Renaissance palette. It cost $42 at Sephora. It is also available at Ulta. This palette includes 14 shades, where all of them but three are matte. today is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I am using a tapered stipple brush from e.l.f. The Naked 3 brush that comes in that palette and the brush that comes in the Modern Renaissance palette. Look one is my everyday look with this palette. I'm going to set the whole lid with Tempura. Put it in the crease as the transition color. red in the outer third. And then I'm going to put love letter on top of it to make it less red. We're going to blend. I'm going to take Primavera on a flat shader brush and I'm going to put that on the inner half of the lid. do that because my brush was a little bit wet. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend in the Primavera with the Venetian Red and Love Letter. umber on the very edge to darken it up a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and blend.
one, it is basically my everyday go-to look with this palette. And I really like it because it's got that sparkle and it's got that little depth of pink at the end as well. Look two is going to be an all matte look that I normally don't do. So we're going to go ahead and start by setting the lid and the primer with Golden Ochre. transition we're going to take burnt orange into that crease love letter in the outer half slash outer third of the lid. Take Real Gar on a flat shader brush onto the inner half of the lid. Next we're going to take red ochre to the center of the lid to blend real gar and love letter in to each other. mirror into the inner corner to act as our highlight. And we're going to go in and brighten up Real Gar and Love Letter. Gar in with my finger to see if we can get it to be bright. This is not what I normally do, but it's still pretty. It's very matte, except for that inner corner highlight. 
I really wanted that orange to pop and it just wasn't happening. I think it's because I used a uh, golden ochre as a base. Maybe if I tried using tempera, that might have worked a little better, but I'm happy with it. It's okay. For look three, I'm going to be doing a halo eye. And I'm going to be going ahead and doing this on both eyes because this is the look I'm going to be wearing today. So I'm going to set my lid with tempura. In the crease as a transition, I'm going to put Fon Fresco. Since this is a halo look, I'm going to take antique bronze and I'm going to put it on the outer third and the inner third of the lid, leaving that center part blank. and use my finger to add a little extra on the inner third for whatever reason the brush was not putting it as concentrated as I wanted to. Next we're going to connect the inner and outer third with antique bronze still leaving that center bit empty. It's just like a little bridge. Next, we're going to pack Vermeer onto the center of the eye, basically in that empty spot, and blend a little bit. Next, we're going to blend all of the look. We're going to go ahead and darken up antique bronze a little more. And again, we're going to blend. And we're going to also add a little bit of red ochre with my finger on top of antique bronze to give it a little more of a red color. Lastly, we're going to add a little more vermeer with my finger just to make that pop. I'm gonna quickly finish up my eye makeup. So that completes this tutorial for using the Modern Renaissance palette. I hope you enjoyed it. Like it if you did. And comment below if there are any other palettes that you want me to do. Um, either one tutorial or three looks. And don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you in our next video on Monday. Bye!